In this first photo, we have sound absorption in a little church. Right idea, but not enough of the technology, and not the proper technology. Remember, in these small rooms, we're looking at 60%, 70% coverage for most of these surface areas. The rear wall has a better approach, multiple panels across it, right? But that's going to be problematic because it's not going to be thick enough. We can see in this photo here that, you know, they're just a couple inches deep. Well, that's not going to handle the energy in these small rooms. When we do churches, it's four to six inches on average that the, our foam technology is, is, is that thick because in most situations, you know, that's what we have to do. So the next picture, oh my gosh, look at this. I've never seen so much stuff in a room. All of this stuff has an impact on the sound quality that you're going to get out of this room. So to be very, very careful with all this clutter. Got some absorption on the ceiling, diffusion on the right wall. I don't know what's going on on the left wall, but not enough space in the room, not enough of the right kind of treatment in the room. So, you know, that's, that's kind of a problem right there. So let's take a look at the next one and see what we got. Oh, there's the other wall we were going to look at. So he's got diffusion on both walls, a little bit of absorption, but not enough, and just a lot of clutter and stuff. Now, I know you got to have that stuff to work and, and all of that, but it's too much clutter and, and too small of a room, so you got to be really careful with that one. Got a little theater. Speakers too, too close to the walls in the corners, subs in the wrong position, wrong treatment type. So we don't have enough and we don't have the right kind. And that's, you know, typical in, in a lot of these small rooms. People just, you know, they don't understand. They think you can get away with putting a few here or there. And I see companies, you know, they actually sell packages of four and five pieces or four and six and eight. That's never going to be enough to do anything in a room. Here we got a lot of speakers. I don't know what's going on in this picture. There's no treatment. Setup is wrong. We got a couch off to the right channel. Just a lot of uh, things that, that aren't conducive to uh, good two-channel listening. So here's some examples of things that you don't want to do. So hopefully this will help. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.